Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Saturday the 12th of December 2015 and we're providing a brief update on silver prices prior to the Fed's interest rate announcement due next week. Silver prices closed this week at $13.93 having briefly touched $13.83 during the day. Now many commentators and speculators were predicting $15, $16 and $17 silver for December. We won't even mention the extremists predicting $100, 1000 or $100,000. And although we still have some two weeks to go, these levels are highly unlikely to be achieved. With the dollar index closing at a little over 97.5, it is still relatively high and this is undoubtedly having an impact on precious metals. The USDX began in March 1973, soon after the dismantling of the Bretton Woods system. At its start, the value of the US dollar index was 100. It has since traded as high as 164.72 in February 1985, and as low as 70.69 on March the 16th, 2008. For those who believe that the dollar cannot go higher, should bear in mind that during the period February 2000 through to January 2003, the US dollar index moved between 95 and 120. So a rise above 100 is indeed quite possible. With the price of oil falling for the week by 10% to $35.62 a barrel, and with forecasters predicting that this is due to 1.5 million barrels a day oversupply, which will continue until the end of 2016, we can certainly see the direction which global economies are heading, with oil generally proving a good indicator of such trends. Even chartists are confirming that silver is still in a bear trend and for trading purposes, not physical buying, should be sold during any short-term rally. Last Friday's jobs report, issued by the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, showed that not total non-farm payroll employment increased by 211,000 in November, and the un unemployment rate was unchanged 5%. It added that over the past 12 months, the unemployment rate and the number of unemployed persons are down by 0.8 percentage points, and 1.1 million respectively. Interestingly, although these figures were higher than anticipated and therefore suggested a greater likelihood that the Fed would raise rates, the price of gold and silver did indeed rise a few percent, suggesting that this potential interest rate rise was already factored in. But we have seen their prices decline ever since. So all eyes are clearly focused on next Wednesday's Fed announcement on interest rates. Based on the CME Group 30-day Fed Fund future prices, which have long been used to express the market's view on the likelihood of changes in US monetary policy, the CME Group Fed Watch tool predicts that a rate rise of a half percent has a 79.4 probability factor and a quarter percent rise has a 20.6 probability factor. This may partially explain, in addition to the oil price fall, why the Dow fell 300 points yesterday and the S&P fell by 2%. So what is likely to happen to the price of silver next week? Well, frankly, it being so closely correlated to gold at this moment, we see it moving in a similar direction short term. Mr. Theogarajan, the director of ComTrends Research said, more than the US Fed's interest rate hike, its language on the US economy is important. After an, an initial knee-jerk reaction, gold will settle down within a visible range between $1,020 and $1,120 an ounce for the next couple of weeks. End quote. Posing this view, the Bank of America Merrill Lynch Global Research said in a research note, quote, Gold has faced persistent headwinds as dollar, real rates, commodity prices and volatility have all not incentivized investors 
to increase their exposure to the metal. Heavily influenced by the upcoming Fed rate hike, which in our view remains the key obstacle to price gains, we expect gold to fall to $950 per ounce early in 2016. Unquote. So, what do we make of this? Well, next week's prices will be volatile. If the Fed does not raise rates at all, then we can see both gold and silver rising. But if they do, which is the better bet, there is likely to be an initial downward move. And depending upon what they say about future rates, will dictate the size of that move and the speed in which it recovers, if it does at all. Meanwhile, we still see silver in a bear market, and regardless of what happens post the announcement, as we move into 2016, silver prices will, in our opinion, continue to fall. We hope you have found this video helpful and informative, and would appreciate it if you would give it a thumb up, comment, and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Please also share this on Twitter and follow us at Illuminati Silver. Also, please view our website at www.illuminatisilver.com and subscribe to our free mailing list for special mailings, bulletins and offers in the future. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. <laughs>